Hi, my name is Sarah Hull, and I want to wish the Human Genome Project a very happy anniversary. I first heard about the Human Genome Project in high school in AP Bio. Uh, I graduated in 1989, so somewhere in that year, between 1988 and 89, it was the cover story of Newsweek magazine, and we talked about it. We were studying genetics in class. And we had some pretty heated debates. Uh, was this the science of the future or was it all moving a little bit too fast and did we have to pause and pay close attention to the moral implications? And I guess that was a really formative thing for me. That really stuck with me uh, because uh, for over 20 years, I've had the privilege of working at the National Human Genome Research Institute in the intramural program as a bioethicist. And I think that is one of the great innovations of the project. Of course, the science and the technology and its relationship to human health have been very important scientific developments. But I think that from the get-go, the project's willingness to pay close attention and to actually fund and provide resources to support the study of the ethical, legal, and social implications in parallel uh, has been such an important act of courage on the part of the project that I think has been a model for other areas of science. And I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that I owe my very career path to um, the project's willingness to create a culture of ethics in scientific spaces and to encourage bioethicists like myself to work side by side with scientists who very sincerely want to ensure that their science and their data are benefiting human populations to the greatest extent possible and fairly and without repeating some of the historical wrongs that we still need to pay very close attention to.